My name is Katherine Wallace-Smith. I'm a registered nurse. I work in hospice palliative care and I do a lot of teaching. This analogy is going to give you a visual description of the importance of recognizing issues as they arise along the journey um, and impact, how they impact on the person and the family in the palliative care journey. If we are going to be change agents and it change the experience of the illness for the person and the family, we need to be addressing these issues as they arise and most importantly recognizing them when they do happen. This sand is representative of the life that I have experienced to this point. These pebbles are the different roles that I've had in my life up to this point. I am a wife, I'm a mother, I'm a very, very proud grandma, I'm a sister, I'm a student, I'm a teacher, I'm a nurse, I'm a daughter, I'm an aunt, and this represents all the people in my life that I love and are very important to me. All in all, I'm pretty happy with my life. Of course, most of us have things that we think we're going to get around to doing and I'm no different. I want to build a retirement home on the Burnt River and most of all, I am so looking forward to growing old with my husband and just living out more of my wonderful marriage. So on the whole, my life is pretty full and I know, I expect that I'm going to have lots more years to fulfill all these dreams. But guess what? I just got back from the doctor and he says that I've got lung cancer and then he explained the treatment that I have to have and that means chemo and then I'm thinking oh my gosh I know what happens when you have chemo what if I'm sick what if I vomit all over the place my hair what if it all falls out how am I going to keep up with my family how am I going to hold down my job how am I going to tell my husband how am I going to tell my kids what are we going to do about finances and you know what I don't even have health care benefits I am so scared and I just feel so out of control. Each of these boulders here is representative of the issues that I'm facing and not only me but my family. This boulder represents shortness of breath and this boulder represents the fatigue. I'm so tired already. This boulder here represents asking for help. I'm a nurse. I'm a caregiver. I don't receive care. I give care. It's really hard for me to ask for help. This boulder's huge to me. Huge. It's pain. And I don't want to be in pain. And I've got I've to admit, I'm scared of being in pain. And last but not least, and I hate to admit this because it's so vain, I don't want to lose my hair. So I, I just feel so heavy with all of these things. It's such a burden to me, it's a burden to my family. Everything just seems so heavy. Well, it's been a week now, and actually I think things are a little bit better today. The palliative resource nurse called, CCAC case manager called, and the hospice intake coordinator called. I really wanted to get hospice involved early because they're so helpful. There's so much they can help me with and my family, of course. The first thing is that the doctor has assured me that about the shortness of breath, he's gonna order oxygen for me. So there's one boulder that I can put down a little bit. And regarding the fatigue, CCAC is going to help me. They're gonna send in a PSW and she's gonna help me get in and out of the shower and do the things that fatigue me the very most. Regarding the asking for help, that's tough. That is so tough for me. But I did speak to a hospice volunteer and we had a long talk and, and we, we strategized and came up with a plan and some ideas on how I could ask for help, be gracious in receiving the help and still feel like I was of some use to people. And the pain, the big pain issue here. Well, I've talked to the hospice palliative care nurses and the palliative care resource nurse. She's explained the different medications. She's explained them to me. She's told me how they work. 
She's also talked to me about alternative therapies, complementary therapies. There's all sorts of things out there. But the one thing that she has done is she has assured me that I won't be alone in all this. She will monitor things. She won't let the pain get out of control. And she will help me get the help I need with the pain. So that's a huge weight lifted. Now, for my last boulder, the losing my hair. My daughter is a hairdresser. She's gonna cut my hair tomorrow and she's gonna help me get a wig and she's gonna show me a few things to do with the scarves and everything else. So that is wonderful. So, more importantly, I'm feeling a little bit more in control and that's so important for me and so important for my family. So what I need to do now is I need to look at the different changing roles in my life. And these stones here, they represent those changing roles. The first role is as a wife, and for that I need the help and the understanding of my husband. The second role that's changing for me is the homemaker, and I've been so lucky. My friends and family have been cooking meals for me and helping me out with the housework. Another role that's so important to me in my life is nurse and teacher. Of course, a huge role over all the roles is that of being a mom. And I have to adjust to not being so in charge as a mom anymore. It means that my kids are coming more to me right now than I'm able to go to them. And the final role that's changing for me is being the care provider. It's hard for me to let go of these roles and responsibilities. And this symbolizes this a bit. So I'm going to shake this down a little bit and look at this. Okay, I'm getting a bit more room here. You know, one thing I, I do need to do though, is I have to address issues with the people outside of my family. Sometimes people have a hard time with people who have a terminal illness or a life-threatening illness. They feel uncomfortable coming around. Those people could be anybody. They could be friends, they could be neighbors, they could be other colleagues. Who knows? All sorts of people in the community that I need to keep relationships up with as my social circle may become smaller. And who knows, if I don't survive, I need to have some closure out in the community. You know, the last thing is I really need to go over my life with somebody. I need to do some life review. So what this sand will represent is some life review. I can go over this and talk about things. I've got so much more room in this bowl now with all these big issues addressed. Now I'm going to be able to do the things that I always wanted to do. I'm going to be able to sit on the dock and go kayaking. I'm going to be able to do lots of things because these things have been taken care of. The other thing I'm going to be able to do, as this pile of stones represents, the people that I love, the people that are important to me. And because of all of this help that I'm receiving, I now will have time to have quality of life and important relationships with these different people in my life. That's what this has given to me and to my family and to my friends. So here is my life as I've lived it, the good, the bad, and the ugly. With a team to help me, quality of life really does seem possible now. You know, I could get even more into this bowl if I added water to it. There's always an opportunity for growth. I feel that I'm growing more and learning more each day. I'm healing old wounds, and I think I'm growing spiritually as well. So in conclusion, the rocks are like the rocks in a farmer's field. They will continue to surface just like issues surface and then surface again. It is our job to address these and especially it is our job to be alert and report these issues as soon as they arise.